Welcome to this mini-series on SQL Server 2008. This is being brought to you by LearningComputer.com. Today uh, we will uh, show you how to move a database from Microsoft Access to SQL Server 2000, uh, 2008. So um, as far as moving data in SQL Server, uh, today we will be using a Microsoft Access database as our source, the destination is going to be uh, SQL Server 2008. We will be using uh, Northwind Sample Database. This uh, used to come with SQL Server in prior versions. So uh, we will use that for our demo today. Now the easiest method uh, to move data in SQL Server is to use the SQL Server Import Export Wizard. Uh, we will uh, go through the steps and at the end of this wizard we will essentially create a SQL Server integration services which is SSIS package uh, that will be stored in SQL Server. Essentially after that you can execute uh, this uh, SSIS package later on demand. So before we start uh, SQL Server I just want to switch to Microsoft Access. Uh, I'm using Microsoft Access 2000 here and uh, here is our database. If you look at our customers you'll notice that uh, we have uh, essentially 91 records uh, relating to uh, our customers. So I will go ahead and close that. Next I will start Management Studio For this demo, we are using uh, Enterprise Eval Edition of SQL Server 2008. Um, I will connect to the database engine using Windows Authentication. The first thing you need to do is create an empty database. So I will right click on Databases and select New Database. I will just call this one Northwind. Now for starters there there are no tables in here so um, I'm going to import this from Access. The easiest uh, way to launch the wizard is to right click on the database and select tasks and then import data. Uh, this will go ahead and start the import and export wizard. There is some information here um, just to tell you how this will work. Now for our source I will go ahead and look for Microsoft Access and then I will browse to our database which is under my documents. I'm going to pick this and hit open. There are no username and password so I will click next as for as our target uh, we will just leave the default making sure that for database it's Northwind and we will uh, leave the default option you can also possibly write a query if you were trying to select specific data but I will click next now here are the tables that the wizard found I'm going to click here so that it goes ahead and selects all the necessary tables and um, when it brings it over to SQL Server uh, the schema that will own these tables is DBO. I will just click Next. Now here you have two options. You can either run this package uh, right away and you can also save this as an SSIS package. Um, as for as uh, security, I'm not going to select any uh, encryption for this. For the package, I'm going to call it import from access. We will store it locally. Now at the end it will just essentially give you a summary. It's telling you that uh, we are selecting this from Microsoft Access. This is the destination. 
these are all the tables that we are moving and finally the package will be stored locally on the server I will click finish this will go ahead and start the process it will actually not only uh, create uh, not only move the data but create tables and uh, essentially run the process looks like it uh, finished ok I will close it now if I go to tables and right click and select refresh notice that uh, we do have all the tables that uh, came over in order to make sure that the data is there uh, let's just right click on customers and select the data and if I look down here looks like uh, we do have uh, 91 rows that it did select so this was just the first first part of the demo is to run the wizard which will actually uh, go, ahead, go ahead and uh, do the import next I do want to show you where these pa this package is so for this uh, we will go to object explorer and select on connect and then this time we will actually pick integration services notice that uh, this does open up uh, another connection we will expand the store packages tab and then select msdb since it is stored in the uh, msdb database and here is our package you can actually go ahead and um, um, run it right from this but before i do that i do want to go ahead and delete all these tables Uh, and the reason for doing that is that as part of our package it does run uh, it does create tables and if you uh, don't delete them first it will give you an error so I will go ahead and uh, select run package here uh, now this brings up the execution execute package utility you can uh, certainly go through this to make sure that your destinations and your source and your mapping everything looks good I'm uh, just going to go ahead and execute this and this was this will essentially rerun the whole process that we have already seen and looks like it finished successfully I will close this close this and refresh the tables again and there you go boom we do have our data from access in SQL Server so this was a uh, pretty short session uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed the video thank you